Happy Friday, members of the Scribe Tribe. We have got another Galactic Challenge to get over, this time involving the Bounty Hunters against the Mandalorian faction. I think it's about time we got those feats. Let's jump into it. And here we are. This one is not so bad this week, guys. I will say that to you right here and now. Bounty Hunters, pretty easy faction. Uh, very diverse faction. Probably one of the most diverse factions in the game. We just need a win with a full team of them. One light side, one dark side. And win without losing a unit. And we're up against the Mandalorians over here under an armorer lead, which makes them a little bit tanky. They do have Bo-Katan with her Zeta. Candy... They've got uh, OG Mando, which is an interesting choice, and Django Fett. So we are going to go in with a standard Bounty Hunter team here. If you don't have Fennec Shand, I recommend you throw in Django or someone else. The key points are Bosk, Grief, and Mando. You want to be able to get that disintegrate off. And I basically give you the entire game plan at the gate. So if you're looking to get this all done in one feat, I actually recommend you don't taunt with Bosk. I know that might seem very odd uh, but that's how it is just trigger your contract as soon as possible usually targeting mando um, i actually quite like to get this mass ability block off if we can obviously we'll need the extra mass assist boop, 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 boop. we've got the disintegrate get rid of candy lips there he goes and now we just want to start working down on people now i'm going to go ahead you can safely ignore the og mando I like to put out some armor shred. It is useful to get rid of Bo-Katan so she stops providing the uh, recovery on attacks out of turn. And you've got Grief here to remove the daze when it lands from Bo-Katan. So it's not too bad. Just flip that on back. Using Fennec here to your advantage to get all that extra damage. Still not going to taunt. Still not going to taunt. Might actually just do a basic over here on Mando. Let's call in... Grief here, see if we can get the days. No such luck, see if we can get the days. No such luck. Well, they're just being cheeky now. Those attacks out of turn are really frustrating. You do have to worry. Don't worry so much about um, them getting out the, the stacks of Beskar armor. Let's just see if we can get some more armor shreds on bo -Katan. Make her a little bit easier to take down. Again, I'm just attacking Mando because he's got that days on him. Yeah, we're never going to land days, are we? Double tap over here on Mando. I'm still not going to taunt, guys. You never have to worry about the disintegrate because it's just never going to land. He can't actually hit his contract. There. Slowly, slowly. Just think of it as a good opportunity to survive constant onslaught. Ah, Fennec is starting to actually deal some damage now. Alrighty, let's have a look here. I don't want to trigger too many counterattacks, but there we go. We've got a nice disintegrate off there. Django Fett is the only other one that's really much threat to us as far as DPS is concerned. They seem to be going quite heavy on Bosk there. Let's call in Fennec because she does all of the damage. Uh, let's just do a basic hit. Lovely. We lost one there. Mass assist on Django. We obviously can't crit him right now, which is bit disappointing but what can you do just taking a look around i don't think we really want to be taunting just yet django would ignore the taunt on that turn anyway he looks to be dazed which is great and we've got to disintegrate up here so we can choose to disintegrate him or we can choose to disintegrate armorer i'm actually gonna get rid of an armorer let's get the recovery going and let's see if we can just execute booyah there we go at this point Safely taunt, because why not? They're not? They don't have enough DPS on them now. We might as well just get the taunt up. Bosk will be able to tank just against the lone Mando. And eventually, he will die. There we go. Got the stun. One life over. And two lives over. Oop. Grief with the kill shot there. Now, obviously, if you don't have uh, Fennec, you can still do that with the likes of Django in the team. Um, and that gives you the light side and dark side character surviving. That's all the feats in one relatively common team. I don't have a lot of relic investment in this team. Uh, Bosk is R5 and Fennec is R7, of course, but the others, well, 
I say you don't have a lot of Relic investment. Boba Fett is R8. I've basically got the Executor requirements and Fennec Shand at R7. She is not necessary, guys. You can throw in other good bounty hunters. Um, if you're looking for a little bit more recovery, you can go with Dengar. If anybody has got, uh, sorry, Dengar over here, if you want more damage and another means of killing without revive, use Django. Yeah, but there's lots of means to do this. I just recommend not actually taunting until you can whittle down the numbers so Bosk doesn't die. All right, that's going to about do it, guys. If this video was helpful to you, please do hit that like button and subscribe to your boy Scribe. In the comment section down below, you'll find links to my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, and my brand new Instagram account. Please do go follow me. Give me your love and your affection because I need it. I'm very needy. What can I say? Hope you guys have a lovely weekend. Peace out. Just giving a quick shout out to my patrons. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And without your support, I wouldn't be doing this today. Thanks so much.